Well, I mean, I see this 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 great sign you've got here uh, with the president we have right now, and I just was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about where you got the idea. Well, or how how, how can you not know where you got the idea from? He was in the booth in the white in the White Sox, and they asked him who was his favorite Sox player. Did he give you an answer who his favorite Sox player was? No, he didn't give you a favorite. Did he? No, he didn't give you his answer to favorite Sox player, right? Not even one. Not even one. He doesn't even know one white And then Sox he said player. his favorite, well, maybe it was some of the people from the Cubs. And then he said, well, maybe it's some of the people from, uh, he was an Oakland A's fan. He was an Oakland A's fan. But can you give us one, how about Ron Kittle? How about Carl Finchman? How about somebody? Well, his favorite player. How about Bruce I mean, who's this, who's the who's famous pitcher for the, uh, for the White Sox? Louis Amoricio. Well, and, and Mark Burley. Mark Burley. So, Mark's Berkeley. There you go. Maybe you should have known that. Just one lie too many. Sooner or later, you get caught. Anyways, Kam Kam Kaminsky. How do you pronounce it? I, I can't even pronounce Kaminsky. how he pronounced it. Kaminsky. Kaminsky. That's that's just one of uh, that's just one of his favorite uh, communist uh, friends over in uh, Russia. And this uh, and 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 what has been the impact of this like his favorite player being Marx Berkeley? Like, do you, do we see Marx Berkeley uh, shifting the agenda in America? I mean, t tell people out of it. To Marx Berkeley? Are you kidding me? This is the biggest Marxist in America. Come on. Taking, he's on. taking over our banking, he's taking over the auto industry, oh, raise the debt to the he's going to control my body, Come on. they control my toilet right now. Care. The economy's in the toilet. Don't listen to these people that tell you the economy's turning around. It's just a great cover-up by media, by media. Come on. Tell me, don't, hey, listen, you're lucky to be employed right now. Are you unemployed? Yeah. You're all unemployed, right? I'm paying for you, okay? That's socialism. Enough is enough. I'm tired of the entitlement programs. We gotta stop it. See? And Mark's Berkeley over here is our buddy. He can have his joints. Okay, he can give us our health care. You always see one year from now, the United States is gonna look much different than it looks right now. Just give it one year. Remember me, one year because of the economic. And we're gonna have another bust. Another bust is coming, son. All right, thank you.